Anti-quickie. Collider biases when two conditions independently cause a third variable known as a collider. And it's a problem in observational studies because it can be difficult to control for. In a 1979 study, D.L. Sackett looked at data from 257 hospitalized individuals. He found an association between locomotor disease and respiratory disease. It seemed to make sense. Locomotor disease leads to inactivity, which leads to respiratory disease. But then he repeated the analysis with over 2,700 individuals. This time he found no association. The problem was, in his initial analysis, he was only looking at hospitalized individuals. The new analysis was from the general population, both hospitalized and non-hospitalized individuals. He initially termed this admission rate bias. Since people generally aren't admitted to hospitals without good reason, and locomotor disease and respiratory disease are two good reasons, he was increasing the prevalence of these diseases in the populations he was examining, a prevalence that is nowhere near as great among the general population. There are two independent causes of hospitalization, and the hospitalization is the collider. The tricky part is, if he'd controlled for hospitalization in the general analysis, the collider bias would have shown back up. They're both more prevalent in hospitalized populations and less prevalent in unhospitalized, and the association would have shown back up. More recently, this has affected empirical examinations of COVID-19 among people infected with SARS-CoV-2. When studies use data sets from people admitted to the hospital or people who have specifically been tested, Smokers, confusingly, were shown to be safer from COVID. Which makes no sense, since lung damage obviously worsens the respiratory effects of COVID. Of course, if you look at the general population, smokers do in fact come out worse. But collider bias makes it seem otherwise in both hospitalized and unhospitalized populations. And just as smoking can appear to be protective when it isn't, eating in restaurants can appear to be more risky than it is. The best way to avoid collider bias is with a proper Bayesian analysis. Without it, any analysis of a risk factor could be flawed.